Liverpool are said to be on the brink of signing Thiago Alcantara. A bit of a surprise, Stevie Nicol, but is it a good one? I think so. Listen, the guy's a quality player. There's no question about that. Uh, he can pass the ball. You know, if there's one thing maybe you can say that, that Liverpool could improve on, it's, it's having somebody in the middle of the park. Uh, a wee bit like a, a Xabi Alonso to, to, to pick players out. But the truth is, that means you're kind of changing the style a little bit. I just, I just wonder whether it's a, a chance to sign a, a great player uh, and keep the, the, the squad strong and, and keep, keep competition. Uh, because if there's one thing Liverpool have in the middle of the park, it's, it's competition already without bringing him in. So, yes, he's a great player. I'm not so sure that he makes the team better, though. Could he bring a bit more creativity, though, as you kind of alluded to in your first answer there? Do you know, do you really want to touch something that's not broken? You know, Liverpool are very dynamic. Now, I, I can't t- honestly turn around and say that Alcantara is, is dynamic. He's, he's more of an old-school football player in the middle of the park. And that's not really what Liverpool have in the middle of the park, you know. I hear people saying that well, when Aldon's contract's running out, he could replace him. Well, I don't, I don't, I think they're two different players. And when Aldon suits the way that Liverpool play, with and without the ball. So again, go back to what I said. Yes, he's a great player, and and you need a squad. Uh, but is he is he pushing in the starting eleven if everybody's fit? I don't think so. What does it say about Jurgen Klopp's pulling power, though? Because he's actually talked about his admiration for this player going way back to 2017. And then when Liverpool faced Bayern, he once again said what he thinks, that Thiago's a world-class player. What does it show about Jurgen Klopp's pulling power that it could be Liverpool that this player goes to? Yeah, well, I think it's a bit of both. I think it's, it's, it's both Jurgen Klopp and, and Liverpool, the, the history of Liverpool and, and, and Thiago's played in teams, you know, Barcelona and Bayern that have got huge histories and clearly he likes that. So I would have to think that, that Thiago knows if he does come to Liverpool that he's not going to be automatically starting. And for a 29-year-old, that's a big decision. You know, you're starting to wind down your career. You're still, at 29, you're, you're still flying, but you're starting to have one eye on when you hit that 30 mark. Uh, so I think the decision that he makes will be an interesting one, whether he wants to go somewhere and play, or whether he's happy to go to a, a huge club, be involved in Champions Leagues and Premier Leagues, but not quite be at the forefront of it. I think that's obviously. Be a, sorry, it's it's obviously a different position, but with the fact that they did miss out on Timo Werner, would it soften the blow if they're able to get a player like this? No, I don't think so. You know, Liverpool are always going to be looking to sign the best players now. Uh, the better the player they, they, they can um, without actually guaranteeing. You know, right now Liverpool are in a position where they can't sign any player from any team in the world other than probably Messi and guarantee that they're going to start. And that's tough for a player coming into a club unless, unless he's a young up-and-coming player. For an established player, that's a very difficult decision to make. Is there any other areas you think they could do with strengthening, even in terms of depth? Uh, do you know, if, if you're going to be picky, I would, I would suggest that if you can get somebody alongside Van Dijk. Uh, listen, Gomez has been great, but I'm not quite sure. I think what you're seeing from him now is, is, his, is his limit, as good as he's been. So if I was to be picky and, and, and greedy, then I would, I would love to have another Van Dijk beside Van Dijk. But obviously that's so it looks as though Thiago could be on his way to Merseyside, but whether he'll break the starting 11 remains to be seen. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.